What is up guys? Welcome to another Character Tower video. In this video, we're going to be going through all five stages of this Character Tower, checking out all the gear, the skins, the loadouts, all the brutalities, everything you get through all five stages. And we finally made it. Um, yeah, we're finally done. At least when you see this video, we'll be finally done. All of the character towers are finished. If this is your first time checking out one of these videos, check the comments. I do have every single character tower down there except for Kung Lao. I did his in the very beginning when the requirements were a little bit more difficult. So all the stages were separated into different videos. But I'm excited to finally get all of these character towers done. Now what to do after this? Well, uh, I got a couple things planned, but anyways, if you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up, man. I am, like I said, I'm happy to finally be done with all these. Collector, very last one. I don't think one person ever voted for the collector through this whole time. So uh, poor old guy gets absolutely no love. I have never seen anyone play with him. I have never played anyone that's played him. So, I'm really not sure how he plays at all. He reminds me of Scarecrow from Injustice 2. Time of Death. The Collector had has had his fill of Kronika's empty promises. Now he'll collect his due. The Hourglass itself. So, you know, he has a couple of pretty neat uh, brutalities and stuff. So I'm hoping that the brutalities we do get are good. We do get two skins, of course, intro taunt. Uh, his gear is that little ball that he holds around and his other little ball that he holds around. I can't remember what he has. Oh, and his satchel in the back. All right, first up, we got the satchel, the Necro Nama pack. I kind of wish, at least with his gear, that maybe they would have done a mask or something instead. I think they could have done a lot with that hoods and stuff because the skin only really affects what his face looks like. But, uh... His pack got the symbol on there, which is kind of neat. There's really not much else to this, just a brown satchel type of thing. He put on the back, which he puts his head and bodies in when he collects them, which is kind of neat. But they still have a couple of them that are a little bit more detailed, I guess, a little more intricate designs and everything, but not really much to that one. The beacon, I think I called it a lamp before, but... These are kind of neat. They have uh, liquid on the inside and various disgusting, gross things. This one kind of looks like a heart, maybe. I'm really not sure, but uh, floating in liquid, that's where he gets, I guess, like energy from or something. When he uh, uses some of his abilities, which is kind of cool. I like a lot of his animations when you're playing with him. But uh, yeah, that's his beacon. And then we got his chained ball, which to me looks like a big like acorn kind of maybe a lamp or something um i do have one of the chain balls that has like a big brain on the bottom of it that uh, looks really sweet i really like that one and a couple other ones though look pretty awesome this one really not much to it like i said it kind of looks like an acorn or something his skin deep pockets this is the skin that i believe that you get with the base collector which isn't too bad i mean i like him with the hood much better than when he's like completely naked with no shirt on no hood no nothing that one looks a little weird but uh he does have some pants a belt the hood the little uh emblem or thing on the top of the hood his eyes glow red which is kind of cool and the other skin is called insatiable this is I don't know not too bad is only one that he actually has a mask on which looks kind of neat i mean i really like the mask like i said i wish that was part of his gear set where you could switch up the mask they really could have done a lot of really cool things i think with that and just made the skins just his like armor shirts and stuff like that you will pay is the taunt and we did get a new intro called precious I wonder whose ring that is. Stage two, we got the one finger salute in every timeline. Sonya Blade defends Earthrealm. In this timeline, she's planning a preemptive strike that will decimate Outworld. Take her life before she collects yours. All right, so I like that one finger salute. So we got the brutality one in, no, hole in one. That's kind of, I don't know. I don't know what that one would do. Uh, hole in one, I guess you kind of would figure the head um, landing in its back. I don't know. Something like that, maybe. We got a skin. That one is, I think, the one with the shorts that looks really funny. 
We got another skin that looks like all bald. The Devora Egg Satch. Not quite as good as the last one we got and still not even close to as good as some of the other ones that I already have in my gear um, inventory already. But still, you know, it is something different. I kind of like the little rings on the bottom. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be flowers or whatever it is on the top. Maybe since it's Devora, I don't know. But we got the beacon. This one's kind of cool. I love on the inside of it, like I said, they're all something different usually. This time it is a bunch of eyeballs, which is cool. They got a skull on the front, little lines. You know, I like all the liquid on the inside, how you can see the bubbles and the liquid moving and the eyeballs moving and like the glare, I guess, when you look inside of a cup or a glass that's filled with liquid. Um, yeah, looks cool. Then we got the Pride of Quintero for his chain ball. This one is a little bit better than the one we got before. Um, kind of like a Christmas tree ornament, sort of, or maybe something that you hang from something. Uh, still not quite as good as the one I said with the brain. I hope we get something as good as those. But it uh, has a little ball in the center, little blades on the outside, which is kind of neat. Uh, skin overall, though, Willing Accomplice, and this is his, I guess top naked skin no armor no mask no anything like that these always just look funny to me he's a super skinny 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 character i don't know it just looks awkward his face looks awkward his other skin is called secured asset and this one is definitely much better even though that he's bald doesn't really have a shirt the armor doesn't look too bad i like how bright the gold is and uh, it's not really too much. I think the armor on his other skin I don't even like as much as this one. The belt looks kind of cool like a WWE championship belt he has there. Uh, some armor on his legs but bro those shorts. Him and Kotokan definitely shop at the same store dude. Nowhere to hide is the taunt. All right, so uh, yeah, I guess collectors hole in one brutality goes through the chest and then back out um, when it comes back. He should have, like, they should have like had the heart or something attached to his ball chain. That would have been kind of cool. And then him like hold up the heart that's like stuck to it. That would have been pretty sweet. Stage three, solid metal gear. Man, I already see one of those skins that I do not like, man. Uh, all right, so Shao Kahn orders to you. Claim Earthrealm and extract its wealth as tribute. The problem, this timeline's Earthrealm is guarded by General Jackie Briggs. The solution, total war. All right, so uh, red scent skin. Man, that thing is so ugly. I don't know, it's just too much on the head and armor and stuff. But victory, we got another taunt. What's the other skin? All right, that skin's not too bad. I don't mind either one of the ones that have the hood. We got his ball. We got his, oh, that, uh, ba, 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 ba. All right, so we got two beacons in this stage. The first one, the Sphinx Moth Flame, which is, uh, okay, I suppose. Nah, I kind of like the gold around it, I guess. And then it has little pictures on each of the sides. Looks like a hexagon, maybe. But uh, we got a skull, not sure what that is, and yeah, I don't know, they look like little chili peppers almost. But uh, yeah, that is one of the beacons, and then the other beacon is called the Lambert Martyr, which is awesome. I love this one. I didn't even notice that I actually had one also that is silver and gold, which I do like better because it being silver and gold, you can distinguish between uh, the different pieces. This one being all gold, it's a little harder to tell, but uh, still looks cool. I mean, I really like it being all, you know, like the skeleton rib cage is kind of sweet. So uh, definitely dig that one. I'm going to just equip this one because I want to level this one up instead. But anyway, the chained ball skulls of havoc. And uh, yeah, we got a ball here and... Got a skull upside down around each side of it. There you can kind of tell, I guess, kind of see that it's a skull. Got some teeth at the bottom of it. Um, the brain one that I was always talking about. Yeah, that is the one right above it. I don't know why. I just love this one. This one is absolutely awesome, even though it's not part of the stages. I think I got it in a box or something. But uh, yeah, that is the Skull of Havoc. And then his skin called Red Scent. This skin is so funny looking. 
That headpiece looks ridiculous. I mean ridiculous. Uh, the, sh the shorts look ridiculous, but the headpiece looks even more ridiculous. I didn't really think that I could find something that looked worse than the shorts that I saw on Kotokan in when I did his stages, but Collector wears the same ones, which look ridiculous, and then his headpiece. Obscene Profits is the name of the other skin. This one much better. Much, much better. Um, and I like it too. I like the pants in this one. I like his belt. I like the little apron on the front. I love his little cloak, his headpiece. Looks good. Uh, the color of the skin though, the red color of the skin, kind of, I don't know, a little bit too bright. I'm not really a fan of it being red. There are a couple other skins that have his skin color a little bit different, which I like a little bit more. It kind of changes the color of the clothes too. The taunt is Soulless Treasure and the new victory is called Paid in Full. Okay, I almost thought that he was going to bring out money or something. Stage 4, Complications. See what they did there? Alright, another brutality. In this timeline, the Collector is Khan and Katana is a fugitive from his justice. She's been secretly amassing armies preparing to dispose you, defend the throne of the outworld. We have Empty Core, Thick as Thieves, Ugly Skin. I think that's his uh, shirtless bald one, which it looks like. And uh, another skin there. We got a ball. Did we get a satchel this time? There is our beacon, and we did get a satchel too. First piece of gear, we got the deck collector, and uh, by the way, you know at the end of these stages, I move on to the next stage, which is going to be stage 5. Well, the video that I did, originally did, in this little section or whatever, there was no sound, so now I am redoing it, um, kind of in the middle of it, and since I can't redo the part where there is no sound, um, there's just a short like 10 seconds or whatever, just so you can see, I guess, the words or the dialogue, I guess, between the story between the stage five but anyways moving on the satchel the debt collector which is pretty much looks like a old school mailbox that you put on the outside of houses except it has those skulls on the front which is cool um the little lid covering over the top i'm not sure if those are skulls of birds or what exactly those are but uh, that part of it looks kind of cool the mailbox i uh, really not feeling that the tarkatan canopy jar not exactly sure what part of this is Tarkatan, but uh, maybe the little teeth or something that are inside of it. Maybe those are like Tarkatan teeth or some part of the inside of it is. But uh, not too bad. It got something, you know, obviously in there. Not, don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Anything that has something on the inside for the collector in these jars is kind of neat. And then the last piece, the Moloch Summoning Bell. And I don't know what it is with the gear in these stages at least by giving us these plain boring not really unique pieces of gear like for example the one right above it the chalice of something I mean this is cool like this is original this is unique has hands three hands sticking down got little gems in there long fingernails this is kind of cool um, this is again another piece in which I got in like a box or maybe I got it in um, the shrine or something like that but uh, Anyways, this is the one we actually got, which is a little bit disappointing compared to other pieces of gear he has. But the skin, Polymelia or something. Um, not a bad skin, except for those shorts, of course. The armor isn't bad. I don't necessarily mind them without a hood or anything in this particular one. Even though it's not my favorite, the ones with the hoods for sure like better. But still, it's not awful and blue in color, I guess. You know, get a different... I guess choice if you want to change the color the other skin we got is called thick as thieves this is another one that I do not like though um, do like the pants I like the red in there that looks nice I don't know if I have any red pants in the ones that in the actual skins that I do like I kind of like his belt too even his little arm bracers aren't too bad the gold in there but the rest of it just him being so I don't know skinny and homely and bald and I don't know. His toes look neat too. I didn't even really notice that before. Darkness inside is the taunt. Brutality. 
Obviously, I've already seen this one since, um, yeah, since I'm redoing it. And like, this is the first time actually in all the character stages where you don't actually get to see my genuine reaction to the first time doing a brutality. But I still really like that one. Um, it happens so fast though that I can't tell. It looks like that he takes the head, like he uses the ball and chain and uh takes the head out and then puts it in his bag really quick but uh anyways that is his new brutality that what is that called again empty core the satchel taxable income and like i just said man this bag is awesome i seen it in um i seen it looking through the bags I guess previously when I first started doing the collector and I saw this one and it's sweet dude I love all the skulls I love the symbols on the side I love the back of it the top the bottom the sides the color I mean it is freaking cool it's just too bad during the match you really don't see it that often and um, yeah but actually looking at it in the customization screen one of the best piece of gear, probably the best piece of gear that uh, we've gotten in all the collector stages. So I like that at least in the very last stage, we got a super cool piece of gear. The Heliograph of Jared. And we did get one very similar to this that was like a hexagonal shape prism type of thing. Um, except like the, I think the sides of it were clear or something. Maybe the top and the bottom of the rectangles were clear and you could see the inside of it. This part's silver and gold. I mean, it looks shiny. It looks kind of pretty, but, uh, nothing too spectacular. And then the bloodstone trophy chain ball. This is the exact ball that we got in stage one. This is the one we got in stage one. This is the one we get in stage five. So they even went as far as giving us the same ball, which is very disappointing. This one's ugly, like a bronze, like not even a shiny bronze color. Uh, this one at least has a little bit of color to it, which looks better. But uh, the skin overall, Market Maker, again, is another one of the original default skins that you get with the collector in yellow. So not a bad skin, though. I like both of the ones that he has in hoods and um, the one with the mask just like this one which is called greased palm i do wish they uh gave a piece of gear that you could replace his mask that would have definitely been a lot better but anyway um yeah still like the skin though so uh he has a couple good skins he has a couple really bad skins this one does look good though because we have i don't know i like the blue the blue looks nice. It seems like all of his stuff is gold, at least the stuff that he wears, his gear. Last of the taunts is what should we do? And then the last of the intros is called Final Notice. All right. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for the collector. Finally, guys, finished. 26 character towers all done. It seems like it's uh, been a one heck of a grind, man. I hope that uh, everybody enjoyed this little series. And of course, we're going to keep going as soon as the next DLC character comes out. Um, I certainly am happy that I could concentrate on some other things. You know, obviously finishing the gauntlet. Obviously uh, doing or maybe doing some uh, PvP stuff like that. But as far as the collector goes, I actually enjoyed playing with him a little bit more than I thought I would. And I think the main reason was just because of all of the animations with his moves and all of his abilities and stuff. I love how he is interaction with his beacon and his chain ball and the little knives in the back that he brings out like his extra hands bring out and stabs them and he does all this crazy movement. I really like that. It's something unique and different and uh, brings a interesting feel when you're playing with them. So I did enjoy playing with them. And as far as the gear goes, um, the gear that we got in these stages was not that good. Although Collector does have some really good gear. Looking through all of his stuff, he does have some pretty cool uh, satchels and some pretty cool beacons and some pretty cool chain balls. It's just we didn't get very many of those in the stages. Um, you can get them just in boxes or at the crypt or somewhere else. But uh, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Like I said, uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed the 26 character towers. If you're looking for one, man, we got every single one of them now done, which is in the comments below. 
So uh, feel free to check one of those out. Be looking for the gauntlet coming out soon. I'm going to do a couple other things and uh, start grinding on because I need to get the gear, right? I need to get the gear in the combat league. So I need to start grinding some of that stuff. Maybe put out some videos with combat league doing sets and stuff. But uh, y'all take it easy. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. I will see y'all again very soon. I am out. Peace.